Okay, a special type <clears throat> of reaction that's also a double displacement reaction. In this example, um, well, this is called a neutralization reaction. What a neutralization reaction is, is it's when it's, you have an acid plus a base that produces water plus a salt. So acid plus base gives you water plus salt. So in this case, the acid that we're going to talk about is hydrochloric acid. So HCl, which is aqueous. Again, you would look that up on the solubility rules um, in table 8.4 in your book. The base that we are going to talk about is sodium hydroxide, NaOH, also aqueous. So acid plus base produces water. H2O is a pure liquid. It's not aqueous. It is the solvent that aqueous things are dissolved into, but H2O itself is a liquid plus a salt. So the salt is gonna be what's left over. So essentially the hydrogen from the HCl and the hydroxide are gonna form water. HOH, same thing as H2O. So now what I have left to form my salt is the sodium from the base and the chloride from the acid. So now we're gonna look up NaCl in the solubility rules and we will find that it is also aqueous. So we've written a neutralization reaction. A neutralization reaction is an acid plus a base. It produces water plus salt. There are some examples of acids that when they react with bases, they will produce water, salt, and a gas, a gas like carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide or something like that. Um, I would not have you uh, do any of those on an exam. Um, there might be some examples that are referenced in your homework, but you would be expected to have your textbook with you for those. So there's nothing that you need to memorize for this class um, about neutralization reactions in terms of the acids and bases, just that this is the format. Acid plus base gives you water plus salt. This is a neutralization reaction. This is important because we're going to use this neutralization reaction when we start talking about titrations in a little while. Just because we have this here right now, let's just go ahead and um, do another example of a molecular equation, a total ionic equation, and a net ionic equation. Okay, molecular equation. Remember the molecular equation is just a balanced chemical equation with the correct phases, which is what we already have. It's already balanced. We just have one of everything. The total ionic equation is when we break apart everything that is aqueous. So everything that's aqueous is going to break apart into ions in the total ionic equation. Things that are not aqueous, like liquids and solids, will not break apart. So that's my total ionic equation. Notice everything that was aqueous broke apart into its ions. Water, which was not aqueous, stayed together. 
Now for the net ionic equation, anything that's exactly the same on both sides of the arrow is gonna get canceled. So like this chlorine ion, chloride ion, that sodium ion. So now the net ionic equation is what I have left. And that's the net ionic equation. So this is an example of a neutralization reaction. Acid plus base gives you water plus salt.